here's my last day. I am quitting. And this is not a clickbait video or anything. I put my two weeks in two weeks ago. Damn. I look hella good. People won't stop fucking coming in. Introduce yourself so they know who you are. Sure. Okay, come. Hello. Okay, what else? <laughs> Another fucking online order. Uh, I'm new. She was showing me the ropes until she decided to quit. I don't know why. <laughs> We're gonna quit. Talking shit. No. <laughs> can you make? I don't know if y'all can read this. Can you make the eggs on both sandwich well cook, not wet? Thank you. Let's make it wet just to make them mad. I told him I don't like the environment. And then he said I can move you to my other store for the same days. And I said no, I don't like that store because I don't like because I work alone at that store. You have to work alone because it's like a small store. He doesn't want to put two people. And the customers over there are hella creepy. They're really weird. So today, right as I came in, we had two online orders. One was for Uber and one was for DoorDash. So some guy comes in and he's like, pick up for Uber. And we only had one Uber, right? I'm like, what's the name? And he gives me like. Mauricio or whatever, that was the Uber customer's name. So, and then the DoorDash order was just for one sandwich, no drinks, nothing else. A couple minutes later, DoorDash order is still sitting there. No one comes to pick it up. I get a call. She's like, hello, blah, blah, blah. Um, I got it. I, I got a DoorDash order, blah, blah, blah. Everything's completely wrong. I'm like, uh, okay. We haven't gotten any pickup DoorDash orders. We had the one Uber, right? But the DoorDash was still sitting here. So I was like, we haven't gotten any. Um, what's the name? She's like, Whitney. I'm like, Whitney, okay, so I go check, and the DoorDash order that's sitting there is for Whitney. I'm like, yeah, so for Whitney, it's still sitting here. Like, no one's picked it up yet. She's like, oh, okay, so what ended up happening? That guy, I guess he was doing two orders at once, so he was doing Uber and DoorDash. But <laughs> when he came here, he only picked up the Uber, not the DoorDash, and he took the Uber's order to the DoorDash's house. And I'm, like, telling her what happened. She's like, oh, okay, thank you so much. She's like, we can't do anything. So I guess she goes to contact DoorDash support. A couple minutes later, she calls again. She's like, are you guys open? I'm like, yeah, we're open. She's like, oh, okay, because the DoorDash guy, he said that he came to your store and there was a note on the door saying you're closed. And this is at like three o'clock in the daytime. Like, yeah, we're open. I'm like, no one's come. So basically the DoorDash guy lied and see, he said that he came back to get the order, but we were closed. Some other guy, some other DoorDash random ass person, he calls me, he says, I'm outside, I'm for DoorDash. I'm like, okay, come inside. And he's like, okay. But then he called again. He's like, what's your address? So I, he's like, you're the one by Safeway, right? I'm like, no, by Rayleigh's. So I give him the address and he, then he comes like maybe five or 10 minutes later. He says, I went to the wrong one. He went to the one on like a good like that's about my house it's like a good like 10 minutes away and then he ends up getting whitney's order which was the doordash so i don't know what happened to the uber customer like he just never got his order i don't know what happened there he really said oh yeah i came and they were closed i think because he wanted to get his money for the order and then like if he never came he wouldn't get his money so i think he just wanted to lie and say that he did come to pick it up but like no one ever came no one came to the door let's go get the latest classic chips for this order You want a not wet sandwich? Don't come 45 minutes after the scheduled time. Dumb bitch. Clearly the condensation and evaporation is why it's getting wet and soggy, right? Any kind of food you make sit out there that's hot at, at first, it's gonna get soggy and wet. We don't work magic. We make sandwiches and if you're gonna make it sit out there, it's gonna be soggy. You're asking if I want a what? Get high. He's, guys. Give me drugs, guys. Comment yes for accept or comment no for do not accept. Who's at work? So when customers came in, uh, Y'all can't let us live for like two seconds. Bro, this guy came in yesterday high as fuck, let me tell you. He's pulling on here and he sees that it's from this door. So he's 
He's like pulling out here and he's like, okay. It's like, did you drive here? That's a little unsafe to be driving in those conditions. People, Tell me some she is mean. This is the yeast infection lady that we clown. Do you have any stories about her? First day I walk in, she's sitting exactly right here mm -hmm. eating chips. Mm -hmm. Wow, there's a big ass line. All the time. And even when I'm eating, I stop and help. Mm -hmm. One time there's this long ass line and she was just sitting there eating her damn chips and I kept turning around like glaring at her like, you finna get up and help me with this long ass line that's to the door or not? When I was 15 and started working, she's like, I've been here for 15, 16 years. That's kind of embarrassing that I couldn't even walk or talk when you started working at Subway and now here I am working the exact same job alongside you and doing it better than you can. I'm gonna miss making sandwiches. I'm not gonna miss the customers or the coworkers or anything. Just like I'm gonna just make, like miss making sandwiches. Am I good at making sandwiches? Yeah, that's how I learned. I kept watching from you. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss the wraps, and the flatbreads, and the cutting. This is like the last time I'm gonna be. That's the last time I'm gonna be cleaning this little crack here. Last time I'm touching the tomato cutter. Last time I'm draining the um, dish detergent sink. We close soon. Woohoo! Oh my god, I'm so scared my phone's gonna fall into this hot well of water. That'd be terrible what happened on my last day. You better come visit. <laughs> Wait, me? Hey. This man said I better come visit. I don't want to step foot in this place again. My boss, I was I, okay, when I called him to get the bread count for how many I should pan, I was like, by the way, when I come to get my check, I'm gonna drop off the store key. He's like, no, drop it off tomorrow. I'm like, I have class and stuff. He's like, you're not gonna be busy the whole day. You can come at night. I'm like, I'm gonna see what I can do. Cause bitch, I have another job. I have a family. I have other things to do besides fucking drop off the key that I'm not even getting paid for. Drop out of my way. I don't even live close to this damn store. Like my dad's like right by the window too. Like what if I start the car and he wakes up? I got perfect for you. This is what we did. We didn't start the car in the driveway. We put it in, um, not reverse. Neutral? Neutral. We put it in this neutral. Push the car out the driveway? It was a truck. It was a truck, right? Uh -huh. So we backed the truck and put the steering wheel. So we're going down the street, right? And we start the car right there so we could go. You guys are insane. I and can't. We didn't want to get caught. My last time closing the register. Ah you know, I forgot my AirPods in here yesterday. Okay. So I sat in my car and I'm like, okay, I have my one AirPod in my pocket and the other one in my pocket. So I'm like, where's the case? And I'm like, fuck, I put it in that little white net case thingy, right? So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just go unlock the door, run in there and get it. And I did. I unlocked the door and I ran in there and I got it and I came back out and everything was fine. I expected the alarm to go off and everything, but nothing happened. So we're done now. We're gonna leave. My last slip. I'm gonna miss you, store. No, not really, though. That's the last time I'm ever bringing my ass here again. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Maybe the hating ass bitches will finally stop saying shit about. Oh my god, you're gonna get fired. This is why the subway is going down. This is why you need to get fired. After this video, they got fired. Why y'all bitches care so much? What does me being employed or being fired have anything to do with y'all bum ass sitting at home watching my YouTube videos saying that I should get fired, bitch? Anyway. Thanks so much for watching, and now I'm gonna go before my phone jiggles the fuck off this stand. And I'm thinking this is please.